love on the streets. Data Tyler takes us to Brooklyn, the musical. Five street singers tell stories every night under the Brooklyn Bridge. The play within the play is about her, Brooklyn. Orphaned in Paris, she grew up to be a famous pop singer who's come to America to find her father. The only clues, a lullaby he sang, and she was named for her hometown, Brooklyn. From workshops to Denver and now to Broadway, the lead role was custom made for Eden Espinosa's wide voice range. When the fairy tale takes Brooklyn to Carnegie Hall, a humble actor lets the character soar. I really am thinking at that moment that I'm Brooklyn singing at Carnegie Hall. And so, I, because otherwise it, it gets too much for me to, <laughs> to handle. You're modest. So I really That's have sweet. to be like, oh, this is my audience at Carnegie Hall. Thank you. Like, you know. And they're the cast and the crew on this gritty stage, moving props and costumes designed to be like their characters, diamonds in the rough. Costume designer Tobin Ost searched thrift shops, gutters, and dumpsters. Spray paint turned a twister game from the Salvation Army into a skirt that fits a lyric about the Brooklyn subway. 2-3-N-R. It's, you know, we have all the the subway lines on there that at least touch on Brooklyn. And a nice petticoat yes. made of. The petticoat is all uh, street uh, construction netting. From a crown made of potato chip bags to a gown of grocery bags, even a teddy bear stole. Loving a show about her home borough, Canarsie's Ramona Keller, who plays the outrageous paradise, wears a showstopper made of trash bags and caution tape. I mean, garbage bags. <laughs> That's how you carry it off, right, too. Right, right. Yeah, and I, and I feel fabulous in it, and I make everybody think I'm fabulous in it. That feeling of pride is more than words for the musical's co-writers. Born in Brooklyn's Red Hook housing projects, Mark Schoenfeld hit hard times 14 years ago. Homeless, he performed on the street. Long-lost friend singer Barry McPherson just happened to walk by, took him in, and a long collaboration on Brooklyn the Musical began. The message that I like to say you get from Brooklyn is if you change someone's life, you change your own. That's a Clavant Derricks on the right. He won a Tony Award for Dream Girls back on Broadway in this show, first time in 18 years. The man behind the music in Brooklyn the Musical is John McDaniel. Remember him? He was the conductor on the Rosie O'Donnell show. This uh, show, Brooklyn the Musical, sort of a pop rock R&B concert feel. And I asked Eden, Roz and Ernie, uh, who plays Brooklyn, I said, were well, you going for a younger audience? Who are you going for here? She's like, everybody. She said, her grandmother loves it. I'm